All right. So today we're going to be looking at uh, the heliocentric model and especially be looking at distances and temperature. As the heliocentric model states, The Earth goes around the Sun in an elliptic orbit. So, an elliptic orbit means that sometimes the Earth is closer to the Sun and sometimes the Earth is farther away from the Sun. And so the distance from the perihelion, which is the closest uh, distance to the Sun is about 91 million miles and the aphelion which is the point the farthest away from the Sun is 94 million <clears throat> miles about that's a difference of about 3 million miles or more than 3% of the total distance okay and what they're saying is that you can see the earth orbiting the Sun here what they're saying is that in the northern hemisphere when it's winter you are at the perihelion, you are closest to the sun. And then when you're the farthest away from the sun, that's when it's summer. And if you don't believe me, let's, let's check this out. So this is the NASA uh, website, official. They've designed something that looks like they're targeting targeting kids. But okay, so here are the numbers. And believe it or not, they just say exactly what I what I just told you. And this is their evidence, just a small, very simple graphic like this, and then some kind of joke. And yeah, this is the Wikipedia entry on the same. And they tell us that the seasons result from the tilt of Earth's axis, which, which is 23.4 degrees away for, from perpendicular to the plane of Earth's orbit around the Sun. Okay. So, the difference from this point to this point, let's say this is 23.4 degrees, would be the same as if you are here and they just moved you 23.4 degrees further north or south. So that when the rays come in here from the right, then the rays will have to travel longer so they lose some of their heat and energy and that's why it becomes winter. And the difference, the 3 million miles difference in the elliptical orbit does not matter. Okay, so how far is this really? So we can calculate this easily. 
degrees is this number times the total circumference you get this distance so 2600 kilometers is how much the tilt can can move you on the surface of the earth okay so we already know that if we take the 94 million miles which is the maximum distance and then we have the minimum distance which is the 91 million miles and we divide this by the maximum and then we just save this we do one just invert it and find the percentage and you find the number 3.2 percentage difference so from the minimum to the maximum the light has to travel 3.2 percent extra but in the heliocentric model that does not matter because the 2600 extra kilometers that the light has to travel uh, is the only reason why we have seasons so just to illustrate how ridiculous this is 2600 kilometers the distance to the sun in kilometers is 150 million kilometers so 2600 divided by 150 one two three is let's get the percentage 0 0.0017 that's nothing that's not even a percentage but the sun traveling the sunlight traveling outside our atmosphere almost 5 million kilometers extra that doesn't matter that doesn't impact temperature at all but that tiny little fraction that wasn't even a percentage that is the only thing that matters how can you believe this think about it